Hello, everyone. Can you imagine a single day without water? In Niger, my home country, people struggle every single day to have a glass of water. Water is a human right. It's life. California, beautiful beaches, breathtaking landscapes, flourishing economy, home of the new technology. is already experiencing climate change, the most critical problem of our society. Severe droughts, devastating wildfires, extreme precipitations. And this is just the beginning of a new era. And what's happening in California? It's just an announcement of what will happen across the world. See the Amazon fires. It's therefore crucial and essential to understand how this new normal affects our water resources. Insight into the future will allow us to improve our present for a better and sustainable future. Hmm, but how to do so when water is a result of several very complex processes present in different forms, liquids, gas, ice, water interacts with the atmosphere, the Earth's surface, and the underground. It's extremely difficult to capture water movement across the Earth because it can change speed, position, and form at the same time. I mean, have you ever tried to capture a ghost? Well, I tried with model. But let me clarify something. When I say models, I'm thinking about a representation, an equation, not Kylie Jenner or any other Victoria's Secret models. We will produce water movement across the Earth using mathematical models. To explain to you how this model works, let's consider your garden. It can be your home country, Germany, or mine, Niger. We can represent this as a bucket. And this bucket contains a certain volume of water, which can be underground, or river, or snow. And your bucket is going to receive water by precipitation, meaning that you are going to increase your volume. At the same time, you are going to lose water by evapotranspiration, the sun power, or the plant needs. Or yourself, you need water to drink for your activities, going to the swimming pool, and you are going to take that water. At the end, hopefully, you will have a remaining volume. And the changes are equal to whatever you receive by precipitation, minus whatever you lose by evapotranspiration. And this is just the rule of Mother Nature. You cannot change them. Minus whatever you are going to take for yourself, and this is up to you. This is a mathematical model, simple one, but I cannot use it because the future is highly uncertain and complex, and we can no longer afford the luxury of using simple model. We use a complex one, a state-of-art physics model. Unfortunately, this model takes so much time to reproduce water's journey across the Earth, but we don't have that time because it's urgent to make decisions about climate change. Thanks to advance in computer science, we are able to capture water's journey across the Earth in high resolution, on a regional scale, and in a very fast way. However, I am not going to argue with Einstein. Likewise, I don't believe in mathematics. But we check if our models are able to reproduce what's happening in reality by comparing them with measurements performed on Earth but also in space, by satellites. We gain confidence in the ability of our model to capture river, groundwater storages, and snow. 
our rules would show that as humankind, we are our own enemies because our excessive use of water has more impact on water resources than the women of Mother Nature. Year by year, groundwater storage is depleting in California due to the extraction of water. On the other hand, the devastating wildfires occurring in California can actually contribute to increased snow and increased river and groundwater storages. Using state-of-art model, we are able to capture water's journey in California in the present and understand how climate extremes and natural disasters impact our water resources. Now, it's time to go beyond California to apply such complex model in many other regions across the Earth. Because as scientists, we love curiosity and challenges. As human beings, assuring that the future will be bright for the next generation is our core value. And never forget that these next generations need water to live, to shine, to sustain the economy, but also to perform outstanding research and be able to play slam. So let's combine our expertise with our value to protect humanity. Thank you.